um, generator parts. It's not enough. You came back again to steal gas cooker, gas cylinder, right? You left. What did you do with it? Sell it. How much did you sell it for? You sold it for 5,000 naira. You came again this morning to take another neighbor's gas to take for five. When you worked for somebody, they don't pay you. I'm the devil. You are the devil. The devil does not call you to come and steal. You stole what? You came again. You came. I will deal with you. Did you hear me? I was, you know the fear. You, I do not want to hear what? I am sorry. I don't want to hear it. Somebody who brought you on a job. You did your work. You left. They paid you. You came back and started stealing from the neighbors. Please, let's take it to the police station. I would, you go to you guys, eh? Celebrities don't have an easy life. Human beings too are very, very mm, not so funny. Because I don't understand. Now this is Peggy Ovire and Frederick Leonard's family members, online family members, trying to you know drag her for the fact that she posted somebody who stole. This person claimed he was working for her and, you know, maybe that's the reason why he got into the neighborhood, you know, got into the space and started stealing. And now she posted him and she's doing what most human beings would do. In fact, what Peggy did in that video is what 80% of you are going to do. She didn't hit him as much as we know. She didn't lay hands on him. She didn't harm him in any way. She was venting. She was angry because you are stealing. You've st stolen the first one, second one, like... You have been stealing. You're done with your work. You left the place. You come. You steal. In fact, I even saw somebody's comment that he stole somebody's gas cooker when the person was cooking. Do you understand? Like, he comes there, he steals generator parts. And when neighbors are not around, he steals generator parts. He goes out. He sells them. 5,000, 10,000. You know this kind of annoying stealing that people steal? Is, like, let's say you buy something for 500,000 or 200,000. And somebody steals that thing and sells it for 10,000, 20,000. You know how painful that thing can be? Peggy is angry. Peggy is venting. Peggy is, you know, expressing her anger. And people are like, oh, you didn't have to film him. You didn't have to post him. Like, why? Why? And she's even saying that so that people will see him and nobody should, you know, work with him and all that. Oh, people are saying take him to police station. She's going to do that. She actually said in the end of the video that she will take him to police station. So what do you guys expect Peggy to do? You know, just let him go. Because that kind of guy, if you let him go today, he will come back tomorrow to steal. I'm not saying that she cannot forgive him or not, but forgiving him at whose detriment? Every time, almost every day, we see madams on social media bring out their house help, you know, put the video of the house help on the face and say, oh, this person tried to poison me, or this person harm, harmed my kid, don't employ this kind of person. And mothers are in the comment section saying, oh, thank you for showing how, oh, create, you are creating awareness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, it's an issue because it is Peggy that's posted. It is Peggy the celebrity. That's why I said you cannot convince me that celebrities don't have a hard life. She's a bad woman because she brought a bad person to our notice. Or is it because it's Peggy? Or is it because she's a celebrity? She filmed him. That is something that almost everybody does these days. Everybody has their phone. Is it not us Nigerians or somebody will be almost, you know, taking their last breath in an accident scene and we are filming? Not be us again. Now Peggy is filming a thief. You understand that she did not even harm or anything you know, and everybody is blaming her how are you blaming her for stealing the thief you're not even blaming the thief for stealing oh my now they shocked me for these social media streets i'm shocked because you and i know that see as long as peggy has posted that video of that guy people will start calling peggy we know how this thing goes in nigeria somebody will eat your money see i have somebody that has, that has refused to do a job for me that i paid for for years you know that if you arrest those kind of people the next thing family members will start calling you oh forgive him forgive him you you guys know nigeria that guy might not even sleep in police cell you will say i told you they will start begging peggy forgive him forgive him um, forgive him but one thing that will happen now people that have seen his face will say oh I want, i'm weary of this guy i want to be careful around this guy i probably will not bring him to my job not even because of me imagine coming to a compound to act a movie and people's properties are missing because actors came to the compound to act is embarrassing it is embarrassing so you guys know that people will start begging peggy and that guy will not even go to police station we know she's just angry and her feelings are very very valid you guys are still saying don't video him he's not in uh, all these america that before you come to somebody's terrace before you know they have ended you they play don't put your hands in your pockets be going around and be stealing and be waiting for forgiveness you guys it's just so sad to see the way that peggy was dragged people saying she's a bad woman just because she filmed somebody that stole you understand like it
I don't know. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section anyways. You are you team oh Peggy shouldn't have filmed that guy, you know, should have just taken him to police station or are you team oh film him more so that people will be careful around him. Like I said, I know say that guy no go stay for police station past two, three days. People are going to beg Peggy and she's he's gonna be out of there because it's just the Nigerian thing, very emotional. It is all fun and games until it's your stuff that is still. It's all fun and games until you don't have 10 in your account and somebody steals your generator with foil inside you. This tiny boost we give. <laughs> or somebody steals your gas cylinder with gas inside. <laughs> Jare, you guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Follow us on our Facebook page. I'll see you in my next video. Drop a comment in the comment section. See you. Bye.